Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a Windows Defender Firewall Rules policy in Intune. If you are managing your devices using Microsoft Intune, you may want to control your Windows Defender Firewall using Intune. A firewall controls what network traffic is allowed and not allowed to pass through ports. Microsoft Intune have the capability to add custom firewall rules to a Windows 10 device using endpoint security firewall policy. In this video, we will create a custom firewall rule using Intune to allow RDP traffic pass through firewall for local subnet. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. We have created one test device group named Test Win Client. Click on group name. Under Manage, click on Members. We can see the Windows 10 device name labwin10-cli01 is listed as a member of this group. We will create endpoint security firewall rules policy and apply it to this group. Click on endpoint security. Under manage, click on firewall. In the last video, we have created this firewall policy to turn on the Windows Defender firewall on our Windows devices. Now we want to create Windows Firewall rules for our Windows 10 device using Intune. Click on Create Policy Plus icon. From the platform drop down list, select Windows 10, Windows 11, and Windows Server. From the Profile drop down list, select Microsoft Defender Firewall rules. Click on Create. Enter a name and description for this firewall rule policy. We have given name Taste Windows Defender Firewall Rules Policy. We have also included a description for this firewall rules policy. Click on Next. By default, one rule is already there. So instead of creating new, you just need to edit the existing rule. Click on Edit Rule and the first you will see error about the rule name. On Configure Instance Blade, first we will enable the rule by selecting Enable from the drop-down. Type a meaningful name for this rule. We have given name Allow Access to RDP to Local Subnet. Now we need to select the interface type. From the list here, we will select only Wireless and LAN. You can select interface types as per your requirement. Next, we need to select the firewall profile for which this rule will apply. We have private firewall profile on our test device, but here we will select all firewall profile option. You can also select current firewall profile which will apply this rule to only active firewall profile. Next. We need to select the direction for this rule. Here we will select the rule applies to inbound traffic for incoming traffic. Configure the local port for which we are creating the rule. We will add port number 3389. You can add multiple ports in single rule. We want that only computers from the local network can take a remote desktop. So we will specify the remote IP address range. Let me configure this. In our case, we are using 172.18.72.0/24 IP address range in our local subnet. So let's specify the IP address range. If you want, you can specify multiple IP address range here as well. Action will be allowed to allow the traffic through firewall matching this rule. Let's add the description 
so we can identify the rule purpose let me type the description okay i have added the description this rule will allow the traffic to rdp service on tcp port 3389 next we need to select the protocol type for this rule here we have to type the protocol identification number for tcp it is 6 and for udp it is 17 we will type 6 for tcp protocol if not specified the default value will be any finally click on save to save the firewall rule entry using the same steps we can add multiple rule entry inside the single firewall rule policy but for the testing purpose we are going with one rule entry click next in scope tags just click next we are going to use the default scope tag click on add groups to select the group on which we want to assign the policy from the list we will select our test device group test win client click on select and click on next review your settings and if you are happy with it click on create wait for the confirmation message you can see the message policy created successfully we can see the policy type microsoft defender firewall rules so we have deployed the firewall rule policy to our devices but this will take some time to apply the settings on our device to see the result let's go to our windows 10 device first of all we will initiate the manual sync with intune click on sync and wait for the process to complete Okay as we can see the last sync was quick and successful let me show the result on a windows 10 device we can verify the current firewall configuration for either inbound or outbound rules using the windows defender firewall and advanced security snapin however the firewall configuration that is assigned to devices using microsoft intune only shows up under the monitoring section of windows defender firewall and advanced security snapin let's open windows defender firewall and advanced security snapin by running command wf.msc from run menu expand monitoring and click on firewall here we can see firewall rule which we have created in intune allow access to rdp to local subnet let's double click on it we can see the information about remote ip address range direction and firewall profile type click on programs and ports tab we can confirm that the protocol is tcp and local port number is 3389 this means a firewall rule is created successfully on a windows 10 device using intune firewall rule policy we also want to confirm the same thing from intune portal so let me initiate the manual sync with intune first let's go back to microsoft endpoint manager admin center click on refresh click on firewall rules policy click on view report Uh, let me click on refresh we can see the windows 10 device lab win 10 hyphen cli01 on which the policy has been assigned that's all for this video on how to create windows defender firewall rules policy in intune to add custom firewall rule on windows 10 firewall thank you all for watching this video have a nice day